but as I booted up the game, I had an update to go through. <laughs> I'm assuming that this is the one, this is the update that fixed the bridge, bro the broken bridge thing that I heard about but never saw because I never, because I only have like two bridges on my island. Wait, I have three bridges. I think, I think I have three bridges. God, that's a show I should re I should watch, kind of rewatch. Young Justice. Ooh. Yep, we're at one point three point one. Yeah, yeah, cause I I watched Young. I was one. I know Young Justice got canceled at one point. I was one of the people watching it. I was there. I did my due diligence. I liked it. I really did. And it came back, and I just... I don't have... I don't remember what service it came back on, though. Good evening, everyone. Right now, it's 8.01. Hmm. No news to speak of, but... Oh, I looked at my horoscope, and it says I'm gonna have good luck. All right, let's get back to the island. I ha I have a I have a balloon, and I just I've just been blowing it up, like blowing it up, letting all the air out, blowing it up, letting the air out. That's been my past like two days. We're just going to put this in storage. Ah, let's keep the color colorful shovel on me. Because I'm going to inevitably break the one I've got. Any minute now. Oh wait, wrong one. Praise bound to Lord Helix. I also I need to give names for these horseshoe crabs. I want them each to have a name, like that, like contra that, like are opposites of one another. Like red and blue, or something like that. Something along like that mentality. Ooh, I don't have any good ideas. Today is a fruit day, so we'll be harvesting fruit. We got a lot of fruit to harvest. I'm also probably going to cut down some trees, because I do need to do that. Not on this part of the island, but on the other part. I, I always swear this is a peach tree, but I guess not. Yeah, a few weeds are a few weeds. Is that a that's a rainbow thingy, isn't it? Ah, I was too close. So okay, this tree's a peach tree. This tree's a peach tree. But you ain't. 
So you go down. We'll clear out the stumps maybe later. I'm fine with that tree being there. This tree needs to go. Oh, and I'm actually early enough to do the shop for once. Okay, we got all these trees. I have no idea what that was. I want to get rid of this one. This one. If that was like one over, this one. This one. I need to figure out something to put here as well. Ah, let's clear this one out. The rest of these trees are fine. Right, that, those are all fine. Just trying to clear some space. Oh, CJ's here today. I, th I thought it I was like, I was thinking it was Chip for a second, and I was like, alright, I mean Flick. I was like, oh, Flick's here! We can finally sell off those beetles! Nope. Another day, another dollar. Or those scorpions, I mean. Because I would love to sell off those scorpions by Sunday. Even though Chip's gonna be, or CJ's gonna be here again in like two days. We'll see, because CJ's going to be back for, um, what's it called? The fishing challenge on Saturday. Saturday. So that's, yeah, two days. Ooh. That'll be fun. Hopefully, hopefully some cool stuff will happen then. Alright, we got a lot more trees to clear out. You're too close. Hey, sucker, my boy. Hey, I heard some of you have been calling you Muffin. Yeah, sure, call me Muffin. I don't like this one. Well, I would, I would say it's not next Saturday. I'd argue it's this upcoming Saturday. I don't want that one. I don't want... I definitely don't want this one. This one's the worst one. Because it's always in front of there. Let's kill this one. Ooh, I'll take a fossil. I haven't even been... I, I did look for fossils a little bit, I guess. I do need some rocks. I mean, we're going island hunting today after we do Fruit Island. I hope we get something good on a Fruit Island. So my prediction would lead me to think this one is our coveted, uh tree, but I don't think so. No. Nope. Oh, did I dig hole? <laughs> I had a hole dug for the one, the only one that I don't need holes on. Not like it was because of the fossil or anything. I don't think there are that many peach trees left on this side of the island anymore, though. I think we're down to, like, two. Two or three. Come 
Come on. There we go. Only because I won't be back for it, for it later. Alright, that's why I'm getting these peaches. Okay, we got those trees. We got these three. We got this one back here. God, so many trees to cut down. I kind of want to cut... Between these three, I kind of want the center space cleared. Hey, buddy old pal. Here you come. Hey, coming at you. What's more standby, you know? Any wave, ever since I started the Sea Sports Challenge. Yes, I offered to buy you your stuffed cotton challenge. Sea Sports Challenge. Sure, what's your Sea Sports Challenge? Do it five times in a row. That's actually a little bigger than the last one. I should have ran away a little bit first. Ah, whatever, we can make more medicine. I know where some weeds are. Um... Speaking of weeds, oops, not that. I'm expecting this axe to break on me any second now. Alright, let's get rid of the worst tree on the island. That one right there. Yeah, we'll pick up these stumps another day. Yep, all that looks good. Oh, look at that pink. Look at that pink shovel. That's cute. I don't know. You could argue there's still too many trees. Especially right here. Here. Oh, my axe broke. I don't know what they were talking about. Anything down here? Horned. Nope, nothing. Oh, is the crafting table like that? Uh, axe. And a big boy axe.
Um, I wanted to get rid of this one. And we'll chop this one down once it's fully grown. Maybe I'll do it so this one. No. Nope. So there's only one more rock to check, and that's got to be it. What a pain. I knew that was going to break eventually. There's a reason I had a second one. Oh, Celeste is here tonight. Oh, shit, I didn't even notice. Not like I've been over there yet. Yeah, I already found today's money tree. Gosh dang it, this chair is so uncomfortable sometimes. And there we go. Take the medicine. Let's just get rid of this one. This one right- that one right there has caused me nothing but trouble. I think that's gonna be our money tree tomorrow. Gosh dang it, I was too early on that one. Now I gotta go find more weeds. Ugh. I actually don't like this one either. I don't really need that many trees over here. I did merge all those 10,000 money bags together, didn't I? lose what like two peaches on this tree yeah because even though i've seen them go like crazy directions before no nope, for some reason that tree will always just destroy the peaches hey celeste oh good evening aren't the stars just exquisite tonight i almost forgot i came across a recipe from the astronomical project in the book and jotted it down I would like you to have it. Do let me know if you try building it, would you? 
Have a splendid rest of your night. It's great. I, 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 I still don't understand Celeste's spawning tap pattern. Cancer table. Ooh. I don't want to know what that is. It's going to look like a freaking crab. It's gonna. It's either going to be a table that looks like a crab, or, oh god, what, what's the other symbol for cancer? I know there is another one. Um, I think that's all the peach trees and all the trees I need to cut down. I did not... I searched this... I just went through this entire island and did not see a single fossil. Or I only found the one. Wow. Wow. And then, you know, I should probably put, like, the rock garden right here. That would be it. That would make everything so convenient. Either that or down. Down, like, where the... Which rock did I not hit? Um, I hit this one. Oh, I know, I know, I know which one it is then. I thought I hit all of them. No, I skipped over this one. Because I was dealing with beetles. There it is. I'll take it. I think I still have plane tickets in storage. Okay, where the hell could those fossils be? I just walked this entire island and didn't find a one. <coughs> oh. Sneeze. More pinks. I do need that, actually. It's got to be up there on the cliff side. I always hate... God, I, I, I should redo this. Maybe... Maybe next week. Just tear it all down and then build a new mountain. Keep a river, destroy everything else. Really, not up here. I mean, maybe I missed it while going through all my trees. Either that or it's on Fruit Island over there. I'm surprised my inventory isn't full. Usually my inventory is a wreck at this point. But we could totally go do C uh, skips. Sea Fisher Challenge. CJ. I always, I always call him... I keep calling him Chip. Because that was his predecessor. Does it look like a crab? Or is it like the... It's not like a... It's like a yin-yang symbol. Is that cancer? It's a freaking golden crab table. But it's got that weird yin-yang symbol in the center of it. I kind of love it, but it's also dumb. Cancer is the worst zodiac. I'm just going to say that right now. Can I mean, besides for the name, just like, ish. When you look at all the zodiac symbols, it is the worst one. Oh, you want the green one? Yeah. Do yeah. you want me to fix it? Yeah, sure. I have to get the controller back tomorrow. 
Are those all the tools back? Yeah, sure. Okay. Come on, Nola. Come on. All right, let's uh, see. Sh oh, gosh dang it. We gotta catch five fish in a row. No flummoxing it. Hey, Rolf. Well, how about... I don't like it. I'm mean, this like, half the time they ask me to, like, write in their own name. And I hate it. Alright, my counter starts now. Oh, I was like, I kept hearing this ringing. I had no idea what that was about. It's the shooting stars. That would explain it. What's up? Did horse mackerels always look like that? I swear that's like a new texture. Maybe I'm the one going crazy? That was a... Maybe I'm the one going crazy. Maybe it's because I'm seeing it like that's the first time I've caught one at night. Oh shit, it's a uh, it's an arowana. I was not expecting that. Do you wanna arowana eating barbecue iguana? That's a reference. I actually kind of like that song. There we go. Alright, let's sell some stuff at the... Because I have a bunch of sharks in storage that I also want to sell from Chip. There it is. Tetsu CJ. Blah. So let's go to the store first. Sell some stuff at the store. Check the turn-up prices, because... Why not? Still got them open from yesterday. Ooh, look at that server. Okay, I'm selling coconuts, peach, that, that, peach, and that's literally it. Oh, and this DIY recipe. I should have done the fossils first. I don't know, there still is that slight hope that I find the fossil. Hey server, how much do you cost? Alright, let's put some stuff in the house. I f will be back to sell the dinosaur parts. We will be back to sell the dinosaur parts. I should just stop <laughs> on the way back. Put in storage, put in storage. A saw shark, a saw shark, a hammerhead, hammerhead, 
hammerhead, great white, whale shark, and the suckerfish. Hopefully this will be good good money. Hopefully. I would love to find that last fossil. But I would have thought I would have seen it. Hey, CJ. Fishinista, five fish in a row. I still just think of him in Screwball, Fish and or CJ in Screwball from the Spider-Man video game as basically like the same character. It'll be holy shit! That almost double. That more than doubles my money technically because of the six seventy instead of. Wow, good thing I've been keeping those sharks. Get into the fishing tourney soon. Yeah. Fishing tourney should be fun. Two freaking green beetles. Alright, let's just go in here and do the thing. Hey, Blathers, my boy. More than one. Let's take a closer look. Yes, I know, Blathers. We've been through this several times, as a matter of fact. I should... Gosh dang it, I have so many things I want to do. And the and the, th the thing is, bugs take up so much of my time in this game that I feel like I have no time to do anything of any of the other things. A spino torso. Ooh, I I th I think that's what we're looking for. With our pop monstrosity. This is Diplo, right? Yep. God, if that's just the head, that's gotta be the biggest freaking fossil ever. Which is why I'm making it. Alright, let's hit up some fruit, shall we? So, I all day today, I've been playing uh, King of Cards. I said when I played it, I think I talked about this in my game of the year, my game of the year list, that I liked King of Cards, but I didn't love it. Like out of the four Shovel Knight campaigns, it was probably my least favorite, and I just had some problems with it overall. Like I didn't love the card mini game, the card game or anything, a lot of personal stuff. But I said at the time that in like six months, I was probably going to replay King of Cards. And I'd like, and I'd actually like. Now that I know what to expect, I'd actually really enjoy it. Same thing happens with games like Link to the Past. Like I, when I first played Link to the Past, I hated it. And like the first time I beat it, I hated it. But I guarantee you, if I were to play Link to the Past again, I'd probably really like it. I probably really would. Not like I've played it again. Even though I have watched a few speedruns. But yeah, speaking of speedruns, that's the whole reason I started doing this. Which I'll talk about in a second. But yeah, so I started up King of Cards. I beat the first two worlds. So you beat the King the King of Pride more, and then you beat the Tropal King. And I just beat the Tropal King, and that's where I ended off. 
And yeah, no, I've enjoyed it a lot better. Now that I know, like, the gameplay mechanic, I like it. Now that I know the how the card game works. Because, well, I didn't like the card game. Once I got to, like, the end of the game, I, I figured out how the card game works. Especially once you get, like, a bunch of overpowered cards. But I know how the card game works now, so I've been playing it with the card game. And I've actually been, like, playing the card game as I play through... Instead, like before, where I saved it all for the end. I'm not bad. Most battles went over pretty well. There were like one or two where I just got my ass handed to me like three or four times in a row. Who was it? It was... Oh, there... And then there was this one like... Fi uh, card game that I was supposed to play like early on that I missed. So I came back to it halfway through... And because of how easy it was and how, like, stronger my cards were, it just kept kicking my ass. Like, it was using all these simple strategies, but my cards, like, I didn't have anything to, like, counter its simple strategies. Because my deck had already adapted to the later game harder ones. Ah, oh, god, what a pain. But I've... I've been enjoying it. The level design is still... It's still sh uh, Shovel Knight. It's still very solid. There were one or two moments I must have spent over 30 minutes on like two levels because I kept dying or I'd get back to the spot where I died and then I just die again. They were both in the lo the Lost City area where you fight Mole Knight. They were both around there and they were just, oh my God. Like there was one where I had to take like this hidden path and you have to like do your dash but if you dash and hit a thing you go spinning off the edge or like you go spinning through the platform so you can't do that and i just i kept screwing it up and i must have lost like half of my money just doing that because i do it i die sometimes i'd get my money back sometimes i wouldn't and then i die again around like a very similar spot and there was one other level like i think it was also lost city it might have been exploratorium but i think it was lost city that just kept kicking my ass. I did it so many times. Is there a cherry over there? Huh, I wonder why that was there. But yeah. But yeah, no, I've been enjoying it. I'll probably beat it within the next, like... I might beat it tonight. I might beat it later today. Or tomorrow. I don't know, but I've, I've been enjoying it. It's still the Shovel Knight pack. Shovel Knight's still one of the best games of all time, and getting four games for the price of one with the treasure trove, kind of five, because of the fighting game thing, which you could argue is its own game. It's so worth it. It's the game and the games are all so good. And the, so the reason I started thinking about Shovel Knight again is I've been so there's this channel Summoning Salt that does like these videos. He, he has two of them. Speedrun Progressions, which later on became the series History of Speedrunning. And it's a fantastic series. I first probably heard about it with the Chaco Canyon video, like a year or two ago. Like, I remember people talking about that, and I was like, oh, that's kind of interesting. Never got around to watching it. And then, like, last year, they did a History of Speedrunning Rainbow Road and I was like, oh, that's interesting. And I saw a bunch of people talking about that one as well. And I was like, maybe I'll check that out. Never did. But then I was watching... Some, I've been watching Mario 64 speedruns. And that's what brought... And, like, they, uh, Summoning Salt came up in that. Like, through, like, YouTube's recommendations. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll finally watch that Chaco Canyon one. It was great. And then I watched the Rainbow Road one. It was great. And then I just watched a bunch of their other stuff. I'm st and I'm still probably going to, but it, it makes me want... Speedrunning is not the type of thing I'd personally be into. I like watching speedruns. Like, I've been watching 360 Chrism still. Great stuff. But playing speedruns just aren't my style. Hey, Blasted Deagle, how you doing on this fine night? But yeah, I've been... So I've been watching all these speedruns, but I've never... Like, speedrunning is... Like, doing a game over and over again isn't my style. I even get bored just shiny hunting. I've been shiny hunting the past few days and during my, like, while listening to podcasts in Pokemon Shield. I, I've, I'm a few hundred in. Can't find anything. 
but I'm just like, I get bored. Like, I like the podcast, but I'm just bored grinding. So it's not really my style. So I don't know if I'd ever be able to speedrun a game. But I want to. I do want to. And if I ever did, I would love to speedrun Shovel Knight. Specifically Plague of Shadows. That just seems like such a... F that'd be such a fun game to speedrun. And one, one day, maybe next year... But it, it got me thinking, but watching all those videos got me thinking about like, oh, I'd want to speed run Plague of Shadows. Uh, let's sell all this fruit. So, what was I saying? I, uh, I got sidetracked real quick. Um, uh, Chicky... Not Chicky Doo. God, Chicky Doo so good. Um, what was I talking about? This is gonna be... God, we're gonna have a lot of money on us. Um, yeah, but yeah, so I wanna, I wanna speed run a Shovel Knight game. And that got me thinking about Shovel Knight, so I was like, you know, maybe I'll finally play King of Cards again. So I did, and yeah, no, I've been enjoying it. Will I play the other four Shovel Knight games? Probably not, especially because I was trying... I was trying to play Crash Team Racing again. But, eh. Oh, I did want to... God, I need to get rid of some of those cardboard boxes. Just throw them in the trash, or sell them to the store. Did I not check this yesterday? I swear to glob, I checked this yesterday. Let's get a Nook Mile ticket. Because we're going Nook Miling, because it's a fruit day, and I also... I'm losing my mind. I am genuinely losing my mind here. I am... Make another selection, not here. Uh, Nook Shopping. Uh, I got I got a bathing suit. I have March. Tanabata. Mm. Okay, let's put some money in the bank. I still don't have the Amazon app. I should, I should probably just Google how to get that. I should probably just... Because I know there's like an Amazon app for your phone that I still don't have. It's probably... You probably got to do something to get it. Like, I bet I got to buy one of the character portraits or something. Like, something I haven't done yet. Even though I have done a lot. Alright, let's do turnips. Because I've been to the store three times now and I haven't done it. Ooh. Eh, that's not uh, that's not really worth buying again. Uh, turn up prices. 210. Wow. Wow, we, you know, I could have totally bought turnips this week. 210. That, so I think we had a small spike this week. If I had to guess, yep, we had, a, we either had, I mean, there is a, no, we had a small spike. I guarantee we, you, we did. I guarantee you we had a small spike this week. Because 210's not bad. I mean, not as good as the 500 we had last week. Oh, a panda umbrella. I should totally come back and buy that panda umbrella. That's adorable. Alright, let's head... Let's do this. I, I'm pretty, I probably have all of this. Yes, yes. 
I do have a chic tuxedo. Yep, nothing there. All right, let's go do some adventuring. God, could you imagine if my turn? I should do an earlier day tomorrow. But I'm also gonna do an earlier. I don't know. These beetles are really screwing up everything for me. Cause I do need. There's like four I'm missing. God, suck. I was gonna say, Zucker, if you're leave, if you're asking to leave again, like if it was like Kid Cat or somebody that I don't care about, sure, go. But Zucker, you're one of my favorites. I can't believe Whitney. Whitney just moved here, and she asked to leave. I should just sell that black and white fish. I wanted it for something. I don't even remember. All right, let's Dodo Island. Hey, Random Island, what do you got for me? God, it's so hot. It's been so hot all day. Freaking desert. Time to go airborne. Wait. I have a... So I have two balloons. One that should have a hole in it. I just blew up the one that I thought had a hole in it. So does this one? Yeah, sure enough, it's the other one. Um, this looks like a normal resource island. I do need normal resources. I'm also going to take all the wood for uh, fencing. Yeah, you know, next week I should redo my mountain. Maybe we'll even put the campsite up there. That could be, that could be nice looking. I mean, it's not going to be that much different. But I really should redo it. But I do need all these weeds for uh, fences. Because I don't have... I'm all out of hedges. I don't need to hit any rocks. So, Nintendo announced today that tomorrow they're doing a, a Nintendo presentation for the Switch showing off Paper Mario and the Origami King. there Because there was no E3 this year, Nintendo just kind of, right, they randomly announced Origami King. And now they're just going to be like, hey, tomorrow we're showing it off. Which is cool. I'm still kind of hesitant. I'm very hesitant about that game. I know a few previews came out today, and people are freaking out that there's no XP battle system in the game, which they are right to do. It does all. It does appear, though, however, that you can use money to buy um ex to buy like upgrades. So maybe instead of like getting XP for beating battles, you get coins, and you can then invest your coins in upgrades for your character. Whether that be like better like weapons, or better um like more health and like defense and attack. Yeah, more health, attack, defense using coins. That's, it's an, it's basically just combining money and health into one system. Which I could totally see there being a problem with. Or, I mean, money and XP. And I can totally see people having a problem with that. I, I don't think it's the worst thing ever. I'm still very hesitant about this game. I, I'm still very hesitant about this game. Will I pick it up next week? Shit, shit, shit. Gosh dang it. I am three for three with wasps nests getting my ass kicked today. Wah, wah. 
You know what would be kind of neat is if you can find Pascal naturally, like on your island. But then if you go to one of these like random islands, you can also find Pascal. Like so you can theoretically just use Nook tickets to grind for him. I feel like that might be broken, but who am I to know? Who am I to know? All right, let's get up here, get some more trees. But yeah, so there's a Nintendo presentation tomorrow. I don't know. I still, I don't, I, I'm waiting for the reviews to come out. I am waiting for the reviews to come out. Because I hope it's good. I, and I trust Game Explains. I mean, they they were... The, they, they totally nailed Sticker Star before most other people did. I mean, they, they got out of the gate with it. Color Splash, while it had some good writing, it still was a flawed game at the end of the day. And I'll probably read a few other places. I don't know. But I, I, I want I want it to be good, but I know it's not going to be. We've been around this so many times now, and it's always let us down. I mean, we've been around this twice now, because I, I still love Super Paper Mario. I know it's a very different game than all the others, but I love it. I, Super Paper Mario is still fantastic. In my opinion. I know it's not for everyone. But then, so as part of the presentation tomorrow, they're going to be, Nintendo is going to be revealing a new game by WayForward. Now, didn't WayForward just reveal, ju just release Shantae a few weeks ago? That's WayForward, right? Now, if Nintendo announced they're buying WayForward, I would be in no way surprised. I honestly don't, I think that would be a pretty decent acquisition for them. But yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll see if Nintendo buys way forward. I think it would person I personally think it would make sense. I don't think that's what they're going to be announcing. Cause then they get Shantae. And the one thing we do know about this presentation is that it's whatever WayForward is working on, it's not using a Nintendo IP. Oops. So we know Nintendo so we know WayForward isn't basically making their cadence of high rule. I still hope Yacht Club Games is making their Cadence of Hyrule, right? A Yacht Club game, un not unlike, um, right, using, like, Mario or somebody, but done by Yacht Club Games. That would be splendid. I don't think that's happening. But I would love for them to be doing that, because I totally trust Yacht, Yacht Club with something like that. And hey, if Yacht if Nintendo buys WayForward, that gives them more, that gives them Shantae, which... Shantae for Smash. Because, <laughs> you know, Microsoft's been buying up all these studios. Sony officially bought up Insomniac. And I think they were looking at buying... I think they either bought or were looking up buying another studio recently. I don't remember what the, the studio was. But I know Sony was looking into it. Ah, we're just going to head on to the next island. We I got what I wanted here. I think so Sony was looking into buying. Um, fuck. Sony was Sony bought a studio that worked on, or they were looking into buying, or maybe they did buy. They were somebody. I, I don't know. That was a new story like last week, that Sony was doing something. I I could find it if you give me a minute. Not like it. Ma not like it matters. So who cares? Let's go buy another airplane ticket. But I, 
I, if Nintendo were to buy WayForward, I know Nintendo doesn't buy studios, right? Like, that's not... I think they've specifically said that they Nintendo... Because one of the big worries is, like, Microsoft's buying up all these studios. How are they managing them? Did my, did Microsoft buy up Nether Realms? Did, did that... Because I, I saw someone talking about Mortal Kombat. Or I, I was listening to Kind of Funny. What was What am I saying? I was listening to Kind of Funny, and they were talking about Nether Realms. Did Microsoft buy Nether Realms? I don't know. I don't keep track of these things. But yeah, I could, Nintendo buying way for it. Other than that, I have no idea what this could be. I don't think it's a new Shantae because we just got one. It's probably a new game, maybe a new IP, maybe something in a beloved way for. I don't know what way forward games like, what their other IPs are besides Shantae. I think they did Ducktales remastered. I'm pulling up. Gosh dang it, stupid spelling errors. Want for. Um. Flint. Uh, what? Yeah, okay, I am looking. I was like, am I looking at the right one here? A lot of a lot of shit nobody cares about. Honestly. Let's look down here at the beach while we're here. Anything? Gosh dang it. Nothing. Oh, no, I don't need an Atlas Moth. So there's a lot of... So I'm seeing a lot of licensed games. Like Godzilla, Sabrina. There's Shantae. Spongebob Squarepants, the movie, the game. Um, Justice League game, American Dragon. There's Spongebob. Contra 4 on DS. Mighty Flip Champs. A Boy in the... Ooh, A Boy in the Blob wasn't bad. If it's the remake? I don't think that was... I mean, it was weird, but it wasn't that bad. Shantae's Risky Revenge. Thor God of Thunder. Mighty Flip Champs. Mighty Switch Force, which I do know about. Adventure. Why do you switch for smart DuckTales Remastered. Oh yeah, the Mordecai and Ripley game. I remember that. Did they do... Oh, Drawn to Life on iOS. Shantae and the Pirate's Curse, which was great. Uh, more licensed stuff. Mighty Switch Force. Maybe another Mighty Switch Force? I don't know when the last one was. Goosebumps... Shantae Half Genie Hero. Mummy Demastered. Did they do Bloodstained Ritual tonight? Shantae and the Seven Sirens. So they helped work on Bloodstained Ritual the Night. And they did announce Bloodstained Ritual the Night too. Way forward did Vitamin Connection? They did River City Girls. Oh, they've, they've definitely done some more original stuff in the past two years. Did Shantae and the Seven Sirens come out last year? For some reason, I think of, I think of that game with this year. Huh. I don't know. Maybe, oh, maybe it's something brand new. Maybe it's something entirely new. That, that I'd be cool. I'd be down for that. That'd be that I'd be down for something new from way forward. I would love to see them work on a Nintendo IP though. I I mean, but then I I mean their their stuff isn't always perfect. I mean if Shantae gets into Smash, I know there's a lot of people who really want that, and I'm not gonna say she. I mean she she's got spirits in Smash, which are cool. I know there's at least Shantae. I think I want to say there's a few others like I want to say Risky Boots is in there. I, the only Shantae game I ever played was um, Pirate's Curse. 
I did not play Half Genie Hero. And I own Risky's Revenge, but I've never played it. I got it on like a Steam sale or a Humble Bundle or something. I meant to buy Half Genie Hero. And I heard Seven Sirens was oh, like not as good as Half Genie Hero or Pirate's Curse. Heard it was fine, just not as good as the other two. Yeah, well, we'll I guess we'll see what way forward delivers. I Nintendo's not buying them. I mean, it'd be interesting to see, because like I was getting to that on that point, Nintendo's big worry with buying up studios is like now you have to inter integrate that studio into your ecosystem. I mean, I guess I mean from what I hear, Microsoft has like a more laissez-faire approach to their studios. Of just kind of like make the games you want to make and just like put them in our ecosystem i mean we'll see we i i even though microsoft's been buying a bunch of studios for the past like three years i really don't think we've seen the full fruits of that yet because microsoft still tr struggles with first party games i mean game pass is great but i don't really feel like microsoft has that many first parties unlike it's competitors, Nintendo or Sony, which are killing it with first party games. And second second first and second party games. Cause I mean technically like Bayonetta 3 is second party, but it's cool. Astral Chain is Second Party's weird. I like I don't I don't fully understand how second part how it works. It's usually like a third party studio that works exclusively. Like so like Bayonetta Persona 5 is second party, technically. I was waiting for that axe to break. I don't understand all the details. I just know second party is a thing that people rarely talk about because it's, it's like a sec, it's like a second world country. No, it's all you're either a first world country like Canada or a third world country like America. Well, okay, admittedly, America is a third world country wearing the skin of a first world country that it murdered. <laughs> God, am I mean to Can Am I mean to America? They fucking deserve it. Fuck them. Ooh, a shark to sell the chip. CJ. With this, when I say I'm bad with names, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Feels kind of big. Ooh, a great white. I think that sells for the most, if I remember correctly. That sells for a good, like, 10,000, so it'll be, what, 15 through chip? Anything? I did have one other, and I'm still. Ex people are still expecting a Nintendo Direct on the twentieth. I mean, it, my only problem with it is the twentieth is like a weird date. I know it's after Paper Mario, so that makes sense to get Paper Mario out and in, into people's hands, and then tell them what's coming next in the following month. But the twentieth is just a weird day to have a direct. It's a Monday. I mean, then again, Ubisoft is doing a show on Sunday. Which is also a very weird date to have a show. I mean, if it was E3, it'd be fine. But it's not E3. We're in freaking July. I mean, technically, it's basically been like all time is E3 time. Which has not... Like, you know, the idea of like shows like having their own time to do their own shows. Right? Like, oh, Microsoft does it one week or one month and then Sony does it the next. So that way they each have time to like do their own thing. Sounds like a good idea, but based on everything that's happened, it really hasn't been. Like I really don't, like Microsoft definitely hasn't benefited from it. Ubisoft show was okay, or EA show was okay, but usually EA's shows are crap, so a step above crap is not that great.
I mean, if we're speaking seriously here... Microsoft's first show was crap. The, uh... Exclusive show... Or the third-party next-generation gameplay show was garbage. We all kind of agree on that. I know other people have had shows. I couldn't tell you who. But I know other people have had them. Oh, PlayStation. PlayStation show was great. But PlayStation show was around the same time E3 would normally be. Okay, let me check my resources real quick. Yeah. Fuck Ubisoft still. Fuck them. Uh, what was it I, I wanted to check this? Yeah, this is just a normal resource island. Nothing special. I mean, I could try looking for beetles. Not that type of beetle. Actually, I think we can't have our net out while shaking the tree. Can we? Yeah, we can. But yeah, I'm... It's just, it's been weird to have, like, all these shows on different days and doing different things. It's been a mess. At least that's my personal viewpoint on it. I, I still, I wish all the companies had just got together... And been like, we're going to do a show around E3 time. Or if Jeff Keighley had stepped up, like he kind of did. And just been like, hey, just trust me here. You trust me with the Game Awards. Trust me here. We'll do all your show shows in like a week. You'll each get a day to the news to yourself. Because like, there's a lot of stuff I'm missing as well. And I know there's a lot of shows that like, don't matter. Like, I never watch the PC gaming show. It doesn't matter. But, I mean, it happened, and people did talk about it. Oh, Mush is playing Minecraft. I could just run around in circles looking for... beetles. Not you. Did I have one other thing to talk about? I feel like I did. No XP in Origami King. Direct tomorrow. Still rumors uh, direct on the 20th. Uh, Microsoft's thing on the 23rd. Which, that's a normal... Like, Microsoft's thing on the 23rd, that makes sense. And maybe that's why Nintendo's is a few days earlier. Again, assuming this rumor is true. Which I don't have any reason to doubt at the moment. Oh, that was a mosquito. Yeah, you probably... Like, an island like this would be great, but you'd probably have to do it in the rain. S sadly, not... Currently, I'm doing island tours. What the heck is this? Is it is it a freaking Maya Mustang? Gosh dang it, I thought that was actually something interesting there for a second. That's just a Maya Mustang. Uh, these beetles are going to be the death of me. Cause I try I come out every night trying to get these beetles. And I keep ah I should just head, head back home. Sadly, I'm probably going to end off right now. But if you come back tomorrow, I would love to see your island. I am actually genuinely interested in that. I love seeing people's islands. Because, God, everyone's a better island designer than me. But I, I've been going for over an hour now. I probably gotta end, I'm probably going to end off tonight. Because I didn't find any of the shit I wanted.
Gosh dang, these beetles are the bane of my existence. But come back tomorrow. Don't. When am I gonna? Should I do earlier? To, I'm, but we got the fishing tournament on Saturday, and I do want to do like eleven for the fishing tournament. Oh, you're on day six. A bu I've seen a bunch of people have been buying this game recently, like ever since the start. Ever since like the end of June, I've been seeing a lot more people are buying Animal Crossing again. Did Nintendo like restock their switches? Maybe people finally got money. Either way, it's cool to see more people playing. Come on. Ooh, a saw shark. That, that'll sell for some money. What the heck are you? I got a. I think I already had a horned elephant, didn't I? I'm missing a giraffe stag. I think I had the horned elephant. Horned elephant. I did have. Yep. I'm missing the horned Hercules. And the golden stag and the giraffe stag. Ah. Pain. What a pain. Hey, CJ, buy my fish. I'm surprised both CJ... I mean, I know it's totally possible for both CJ and uh, Flick to sh or For CJ and Celeste to show up at the same time. It's, it's crazy that they did. Holy sh... Do the shark, does the great white sell for like, holy crap, that's a lot of bells for just two sharks. Holy shit. Holy shit. That's freaking crazy. Anything? Beal. Beetle. Nope, nothing. What achievements did I get today? There's the talk to your friends one. So tomorrow, ooh, what am I going to do tomorrow? Um, I wanted to do island hunting today. That was a big deal for me. Tomorrow, and Saturday's the fishing tournament. Turnips are Sunday. Hopefully I'll be, uh, hopefully I'll wake up early enough to do turnips on Sunday. I hope to God I can. Tomorrow... What will I do tomorrow? Maybe I'll just do some more beetle hunting. It's such a pain in the ass, but maybe I will. Whether it be at 11 o'clock at night or sometime earlier. No, we'll probably do it around 5. I'll probably go beetle hunting around 5. Some five, Sometime between 5 and 9. I don't know. It's it, these, these are strange times we live in. Strange times. I should probably get changed tomorrow. I like this outfit though. It's kind of cute. <laughs> yeah, I'll get. You. I'll do. I'll worry about that tomorrow. I gotta go play more Shovel Knight. I could totally beat the game tonight. It'd probably take another like hour. Well, not like I... Unless I have another terrible level like the ones I did to... Like the two I had in the freaking... Ah! 
But then, oh, what time is the Nintendo thing? Is that at 11? Maybe we'll do it right after the treehouse. Nah, but all the Beatles. The Beatles! Won't somebody think of the Beatles? I should do it at 5. I don't know. It happens when it happens. Yeah, I'm gonna end off there. I hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. Until next time. Peace.